Hi guys, it's art class. I'm vaguely looking alive after a horrendous week of flu cold. I don't know what it was, but it's still lurking. It's there morning and night. You can hear my voice still isn't quite right and I'm shattered most of the time. But today, for the first time in a long time, I'm dressed um, and I've managed to pop out and... Uh, <laughs> walk the dog that's the first time as well for a long time fresh air actually felt quite good so I'm glad to be slowly but surely returning to the land of the living because it is boring being ill let me tell you thank you for joining me I'm hoping Manda's gonna hop on in a bit and we can add her um, we weren't sure if we were going to do it or not. Obviously, I missed Saturday's live with Malia, which I was gutted about, but I, it's just something I had to give. So, if you're watching this on replay, thank you for joining and share the love. We're trying to do this and come up with something new every um, Monday to have a play with, really. And I think some of you may have seen I did a very quick live showing this hi Amanda just gonna add you um with the watercolor pencils that I found up in the loft um and Amanda as predicted was pretty keen to have a go hello lovely hello lovely <laughs> I look very How are you? human <laughs> sorry you feel vaguely <laughs> human. I look vaguely human. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, how are you, honey? Yeah, I'm slowly but surely getting now. I have actually managed to walk the dog today, which is a first, and I'm dressed. I have clothes on. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> nice that you're dressed and extra nice that you've walked the dog, because that will do you a lot, sort of, you know, mentally, emotionally, won't it? Yeah, fresh air did me good, it cleared my nose. Hi, Louise. My voice isn't quite right yet, and I'm still a bit snotty, but a couple more days, and I'm hoping I'll be on the road to uh, recovery. Today, which is a first. So oh, you'll dressed. be fine. Sorry, I'm, ju I'm just tinkering here with my tech. That was a bit deja vu. <laughs> what, tinkering with my tech? No, you're hearing it again. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Hi, Louise. well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I like to have you on my iPad as well because my eyes are so bad. I can't see very much on the phone. <laughs> All right, I'll let you on. So, um, yeah, I have a couple of seconds delay and I can see you on the iPad <laughs> a little bit clearer. It's pathetic, I know. Well, I haven't managed to because my printer has completely died today. So I haven't managed to print off a picture of what I posted on the Facebook feed. So I'm hoping you guys have seen sort of the idea. Um, I found some lovely drawings of art. Mm. Yeah, you did. With a story within the pupil kind of reflecting out. And I really liked that idea. And I, I love wondered, that idea. Yeah, I wondered if one, we could go back to kind of just looking at one feature at a time, um, which will help us with our whole portrait put together. But yes two kind of do something a bit cool with it as well and um well because i've been ill and you know you run out of things to do when you're ill i've spent today you, know, you, you have to pop off husband's on watching i don't need him watching because <laughs> they, they yeah, do one off you go i'm going to be talking about you in a minute <laughs> anyway um i had uh, a friend of ours, like we only got married 10 years ago, Mark and I, and they made us this amazing, um, what do you call it, memory book, I suppose, for our wedding. And if you can see, it's a Cuban car because we got married. That's kind of funky. And they managed to put me and Mark in the seats and they changed the registration plate to MDR 028. Is that Photoshopped then? Yeah. Yeah, they Photoshopped it. But they oh, did also. All sorts of absolutely lovely. We kept all the remnants, all the tickets, all the flowers that were at our wedding, all, the, all sorts of lovely things. And they made us, and we brought it all back, and I chucked it all at her. And she made me this beautiful personal um, book. I love it's, that. It's, it's so cool. It's even got in it... Um, it's, 
Mrs. Rolls. Does that mean you were, you were living in sin before then? Yeah. And look how bad, how bad is that? That was me. Oh. How awful. You, you know, guys are gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, hubby. But it's even got um, a poem that I wrote my husband when we first got together. It's got a newspaper article of us when we were in. It's, it's got our song words on it. It's, it's got everything. It's lovely. So I've had, I haven't looked at it in ages, but I wanted this picture. It would all make sense in a minute. And in the back was a little kind of booklet of leftover photographs that she couldn't fit in the, in the, um, whatever you call it, album. And this was the photograph I was looking for. And Mark and I were married on a beach in Cuba on the 14th of February, so Valentine's Day, how cool. How lovely. And that, that beach was just literally, well, the other side of it was, was the beach and water, and it was up high. So, and that was a flower heart, it's all made out of flowers. How beautiful. That's gorgeous. And we actually got married in the middle of the heart, so that's where the ceremony took place. So it was really, really gorgeous, and I really liked it. So from that picture, I thought, well, this is my story, really. This is, this is what me and Mark is, is our story. Lovely, even if you feel like it's been 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> so I've oh. drawn my eye, but I've put us in the middle on a heart. Love that. Bit, and then there's a kind of sea thing going on I'm not quite sure how it's going to work in terms of the eye but there's some sort of grassy bits here which there were in the photograph if you see so and I've got the flowers the you have to look really close up that they are flowers so I, I can I, see that they're flowers yeah I, I thought I'd do some green. sort of spewy flowers out here as well and see how it works oh I love that idea so yeah so oh look at that Mr Rolls she loves you <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> I love my hubby. <laughs> so, I normally when we do these art classes, I've sort of given you all this information well ahead of time and shown you what I'm up to so that you've got a chance to prepare your canvases. And but because I've been ill, I haven't done it. And I actually sat down eventually and did this this afternoon, and then messaged Mand about an hour ago and said, <laughs> "So are we doing art?" <laughs> and she was like, "Well." I'm <laughs> Haven't done anything. Yep. <laughs> so we thought we'd have, obviously we've got to have a slightly different plan today. That I'm going to be. I've obviously prepared mine. Manda's going to start drawing her. She did know this was on the agenda, so hopefully she's got some idea of what she's going to put in the middle. If not, you can. Yeah, I, I do have ideas of what I'm going to put in the middle. However, I haven't researched it enough. So you can start with your main shape of your eye, at least. Yes. And get that yes. out. I'm going to start with my eye, and then I might need to um, Google because I one of the images you sent out for us to to think about um, yeah. was was the lovers. Yeah, and I love that idea, yeah. and I was going to go with that, and then I thought of um, Minerva, who is the Roman goddess. She's the Roman goddess equivalent to the Greek goddess Athena. So Minerva is kind of goddess of the arts, of poetry, Ooh. of crafts, of weaving. And she's also the goddess of strategic warfare. She's quite a cool chick then. Quite a cool chick, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm is kind she of pretty? And also there's, there's, um, <laughs> there's a, there is a reason behind this. Um, there's a statue of Minerva on, on one of the buildings in Liverpool. And most people believe that she is Britannia, but um, all the Scousers know that she is Minerva. And um, I just want to have a quick shout out. I don't know whether he's watching tonight because he's probably busy. To Jane. To, catch up. to Jane. <laughs> Hi, Jane. One of our regular viewers who, who um, gets, you know, really involved in this. And um, he's moved house. So he's moved up north and um i just wanted to wish him every luck and success um and it made me think of home because i'm from the world you see originally and i know you're from 
you were born in Runcorn, weren't you? Born, yeah. Um, Runcorn. And um, so, yeah, so I was thinking of Minerva. So I will have to research how she, you know, actually looks and stands and what have you. <laughs> it's very sort of Britannia-esque. She's, you know, fierce. She's a strong it's bear. inner story, is it? It's Sorry? It's supposed to be your inner story. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought with the geological, you know, the, the, the geography sort of side of it. Um, yeah. And... You know, she's fierce and yeah. she's arty and so she's I might representing. go Minerva. She's representing. Yes, although the lovers, I think, would be easier to do. Yeah, so. well, have a look, have a go. Yeah, so, but I've got to get on with the eye first. So what I've um, done, guys, is yes, I've, I've, found, I've found my um, watercolour pencils and what I've... I've suspected this when I did it the other day I've got two sets in here and some of them are just plain watercolour yes and, some that's them, what I've got. and then some of them are called um, ink tents which is their inky which is why they I've managed to get such a strong colour out of them I seem to have a mixture of different sets going on here so some of them are stronger and more vibrant than others so i i'm, I'm just going to use them all in exactly the same way and, but, and it will show when i let when i um go on with water hi Jeanette. i was starting to wonder if some of the messages weren't coming through but they are hi oh. and i still haven't seen your program either yet Jeanette. um i've had quite a bit just on today. messaging you haven't got your messaging on no, I have. I've just, I've just flicked it on on the iPad. Hi, Debbie. See you down there. Hi, Louise. Debbie, your friend's work look lovely. I love that picture of that mermaid. She should definitely <laughs> should be posting in our paint forum. I've been it for like 50 years. I think I'm just catching up on these. Loads of people watching and tuning in. Thank you so, so much. Fantastic. Oh, my God. <laughs> So I'm going to turn my face down because you don't really need to see me so much so that you can see no, what don't. I'm doing and we can talk about it a little bit as we go along. Amanda's going to start prepping her eye. Yes, yeah, I would, yes. For those of I you want, that have I want to know what to do. Joined. Well, can you see that? No, you can see that. I'm doing my little love story here. This is me and hubby marrying in Cuba 10 years ago. Yeah, I was that thin. <laughs> yeah, he said it felt like 50. <laughs> I um, saw that comment, Mr. Rowles. I've transferred it into the picture of my eye. So I've done a very basic eye shape, which you can use from the original pictures that I pasted on this. And then I'm going to use my watercolour pencils just to start colouring in the sky of my beach. It was the most. Eyes, I feel, look a little bit like a lemon. <laughs> Am I wrong in saying that? Why? No, oh, they just sort of got that knobbly bit that where well, your tear duct is, haven't they? Oh, I, I thought you said you felt a little bit like a lemon. I always feel like a lemon, darling, but no, my I think eyes look a little bit like a lemon. Mine are a bit lopsided here at the moment. Hang on. Yeah, although they've clearly got this. Can you see this here? That This is the bit that's near the nose. So that's the different bit. It's got like a little nodule. Yeah, that, that's why I feel like it's like a lemon, because it's got that little knob on the end. And that bit should always be sort of slightly darker to show where your eyeball is sitting in your eye and this side as well. So I could. I'm, I'm finding it tricky to sort of see what you've done because of my, you know, eyes and lack of specs and that malarkey. So I'm just kind of going to go with what I feel is right. Um, I don't want my eyes to look too startled, so... And these pencils are just great because they actually look really sort of crayon-y really when you put them on.
Well, I loved what you did the other day. And, and we've we've had a little play with some pencils before, different pencils. And um, you know how much I love that. It was the crayons, wasn't it, you mean? The Tim Holtz crayons? The Tim Holtz, yes. Uh, and that, that was great fun. And I'm sort of... Yeah, I mean, you look at the difference between the colour on that, which is, I've only just started, but it's very pale and sketchy to that. Yes, that's very dramatic and dark, isn't it? And that's with the water added, so I'm just going to pop up so I can see what you're saying. Tagged man in hilarious live video, her bonkers daughter made. Oh. Right. Who's well, that your bonkers daughter made? I can't see who's posted, but we've been tagged in a... A video that's hilarious. So hi, hi, Annette. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Now I'm really dilemmaed about whether doing my people as um, a silhouette. So that's obviously one option, which is in the um, pictures that I posted, or to do it in the colours that we. We got married in, it was very difficult choosing colours to it get married in. Sorry, I'm just talking to Google. Difficult um, choosing what to wear. Um, Mark didn't want any part in it, wasn't interested in it at all, so I had to sort it all out for him. And of course, you, you worry about being absolutely boiling hot in Cuba. So I ended up with a silk, it's actually a top and a bottom, but they look like a dress together. Um, in white because it was the only thing that you could like just screw up in the in the um, suitcase and it would god yeah because it was silk it just as it um, sat in the humidity it just all dropped out all the creases so does silk's a wonderful thing yeah it was a very special day I'm Googling Minerva and one of them looks, um... oh no, that's because it's Aphrodite. No wonder she looks a bit naughty. Um... Yeah. I haven't got all sorts in here. I haven't got a pink, so I'm, I'm well, I'm, I did have a suntan for the occasion. I went to, um, I discovered major claustrophobia when uh, Mark bought me a voucher to go for sun tanning before our holiday because obviously we went in February so it was quite cold here and um, we uh, I, I thought I'd get a sun tan before I went obviously for my nice wedding photos and uh, until I got into the sun tanning place we were locked in a cubicle you know and it felt like the longest they're horrible. Well, I swear to God, I mean, you, pay, you only pay for like three or four minutes or something ridiculous. And it felt like an hour and a half. I was absolutely convinced they'd left me in there to cry. <laughs> <laughs> they may well have done. And they were just outside, notching it up, turning it up, 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 up. And Mark had sent a phone call earlier. <laughs> yeah. That was what I thought. Oh dear. Oh, listen to you. Yeah, I'm still coughing. You're still after sympathy, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've lost it. We've been having daily votes on who's the illest because the kids have got it too. Oh, well, they're obviously the illest. We're, we're all out of sympathy for you now. Sorry, yeah. you've had your day. You've had your moment. <laughs> Thanks. It's only so long it can, have, it can last. <sighs> You know who your friends are, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know who your friend is. So, Paula, it's your daughter. Okay, I shall watch it, Jeanette. I'm going to try and do a sort of... If you can see that. This is my, my hearts. It was a heart of flowers. I'll do some green and then some red. I'm kind of making this whole thing up as I go along. Have you got an eye yet, guy? Girl. Have I got what, what? 
Have you got an eye? Can't, it's difficult to see what you're doing. Yes, then... yes, I have got an eye, and I'm starting work on Minerva here in the middle. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah. Have you got a pupil? Is that a pupil, Randa? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A, yeah. It, it'll it'll come together. I haven't really got a pupil. I've got an iris, but I'll put the pupil in around Minerva, I think. Don't you worry, girl. It'll all come together. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I just It's difficult switching between the picture and then what you know has got to be there, which is the, the actual eye. Yeah, and you've said this to me before, and I, um, I, I really took it on board about draw what you can see not what you know to be true yeah it was when you came into the shop with your picture wasn't it mm, and i was having real real troubles with um with a picture i can't show you now because it's over at the shop and it's huge anyway um but i was having real problems with um it it was kind of okay but it was only okay and so i needed paula to give it like you know a, a, a second opinion she really did and she was totally honest with me <laughs> totally honest with me that's gotta go that's gotta go that's gotta go <laughs> and you know, I didn't take that insultingly at all because I'd asked for her advice and um I think the best advice that you gave me Paula was you know, draw what you can see not what you know to believe is there and that's fine because you know, we all learn how to draw people and it's very sort of um, robot-y, isn't it? You know, you've got the oval face and you've got the eyes. And you... But to put character into somebody, it's got to actually look like them. So you've got to sort of, as you say, draw what you see, not what you know to be true. Because, you know, someone could have a broken nose and be a bit squished or, you know, they could have three teeth missing or... You know, squinty eyes or what have you well and people's faces aren't symmetrical either and i think no. we, we try to Absolutely draw things not. symmetrical but they're, they're just not and that messes it up but you were looking at because you were doing um a picture of another picture yes and yeah I, and what manda had done was draw both eyes how she knows eyes to look and when i look back at the picture one eye had been almost completely blanked out with... It was obliterated, wasn't it? it was yeah, and I said to her, well, you haven't drawn that, that's not there, that's not in your picture. And she's like, oh, this is your drawing what you know, not what you see. Exactly. Yes. So thank you for that, madam. It's quite hard to lose that and go back and just keep looking and keep looking. And then the other thing I told you to do, which is really useful i think if you're especially if you're copying a face um it you had really luckily a grayscale black and white copy of a, of a color picture, yeah didn't you so then what yeah. we did was we went back and we're like okay so which bits in the picture is the darkest the darkest black right how many other bits in that picture is as dark as that black because only those three bits or four bits or whatever should be that dark and then we yeah. did the same with the white and then we did the same we decided what the gray scale was as well and so on because it's very easy to go in too heavy with the black yeah it was and it was um yeah i had to sort of think about the shades that i was using and, and where they all were supposed to be as opposed to where i kind of anticipated them being yeah Got a bit heavy handed with the black. I did rather, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like black. I mean, I would I tend to try to put black in last and white in last. It was the only place I said to Manny, the only time my art teacher ever allowed a rubber in the class was for pencil drawings to draw in the last and you didn't use it as a rubber as such, you used it as a highlighter. It's like a putty rubber. Mm. He touched the page and lifted, and it took the pencil away. 
it was really cool and then suddenly the picture came to life with those little highlights shown I might be regretting doing Minerva soon <laughs> you're going to do go back to lovers <laughs> I might go back to lovers <laughs> I think she's, she's, a really she's good okay start. but she's kind of I haven't proportioned her right to begin with and therefore she shrunk a little bit so I've only got kind of Minerva to, on her knees if you, I'll, show you the, I'll show you the image I'm following so I've googled this so there's Minerva in all her glory. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Minerva in my eye. It, it's, it's very light at the moment, so it's going to be hard to see. And okay. you can see I've kind of got as far as her knees and I've run out of eye. That's all right. And she's looking a little cartoony. But, you know, that's just the first... No, I quite like that. So, that. Yeah. That's the first go, as it were. Her face is too fat. Um. Well, I keep going back to my original drawing and unfortunately I couldn't find um, a yellow so I haven't got sand colour but actually looking back at my picture I have. It's, it's not very yellow it's not kind yellow of, at all kind of white sand with a bit of beige around the outside so I'm probably going to go with that so I've been working on Minerva and I want to go back to my eye. So what do I actually need to incorporate in my eye? I mean, there's going to be stuff. How far do I go with my eye? Because there's, there's going to be sort of like um, veiny kind of sinewy stuff. Do I bother with that or do I just shade it? Well, you, I mean, if you want to go that, I've done, can you see on my pupil? I've done, I haven't gone over them yet with the black, pencil but I've done some little lines yeah you've done yes like because they would the... naturally occur within within the the color of the pupil wouldn't they yeah but not uh, the, the iris sorry not gonna yeah not gonna do veins on the white I think that would make it a bit like a horror movie yeah that's but what I was afraid of socket there a little bit there I've got my grass growing up here this is going to be sand so it's going to be a bit of a sort of blurry shaded yeah um, kind of your your picture is more um in the whole eye as opposed to mine is it just in the iris isn't it? and yours is just fine so i would do a fairly dark line around the outside of the is it iris or that's pupil? the iris yeah the pupil yeah. is the dark bit in the middle right so dark line to define it but that circle shouldn't be a complete circle you know you've got an eyelid you'd have to be staring into a bright light to be able to see that, well that's what I thought it. so I've sort of like taken a bit off the top and bottom yeah. so and because, then we've got you know, a kind of I've, I've got old droopy eyelids <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you, you, the amount if you can see in my eye is like <laughs> minimal isn't it I mean look at that that's the natural me and um, yeah so you need to bear that in mind yeah, I wouldn't get much picture in mine would I if I <laughs> my little slitty eyes so i do need to put a pupil in the background here don't i and yes you need to get your pupil in take out because i had put a little highlight in there so i need to take out the highlight and rethink that i'm just really interested to see how this comes to life once i the water on it i think these are going to look fantastic because you know everybody's art is going to be different everybody's um story is going to be different well to be honest if you're a beginner and you just wanted to have a go and think it's a bit fun you can copy the main outside line and then you can just literally draw a silhouette a really simple silhouette it could be a heart shape in the middle yes. it doesn't have to be a work of art I've just decided I was trying to think what to do and wanted to do I just I didn't want to copy uh, I wanted to do my own story and then I thought it might be nice Trezzy for hubby if it came out all right for Christmas and then he blimmin logged on and said it was like 50 years so sodden <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And let's, if, if he thinks it's shit, you've got to have somewhere to dump your picture, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Give it to his mother. It's going on eBay, mate, after that. <laughs> <You're> wicked. <laughs> so I just, I'm going in now doing my eyelashes, which I've tried to, and again, eyelashes are another thing that you can get caught up in on eyes. And they, they're not perfect. Look at your own eyelashes. They cross over each other. They're shorter and longer in places. And... Oh, absolutely. And actually, especially if you're doing a close-up eye, if you can see, the, the crossovers actually make it look really quite effective, I think. Mm. Can you see? So I'm doing quite straight. I mean, these are going to all blur in once I get the... The water. I'm going to start with the water in a minute and show you. Well, I was um, I had all my pencils lined up in a beautiful rainbow colour, and um, well, here we go. Here was here's my black. I'm going to go in with my black. I'm I'm quite happy now with what I've done. Hold it up and show it all round. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with what I've done. I'm going to go in now and start with the colour. So you've obviously had your weekly trip to Hobbycraft. Yes. <laughs> it tends to be, it tends to be um, more than weekly now. Uh, <laughs> they, 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 I'm almost on first name terms. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> and I went to the hardware store this morning as well. I haven't been there for a while. Oh, being really neglected. Right, the only thing I've got left to do is my little flowers that were... So if you were to look at this picture now, close up, to be honest, it looks a bit like a child's drawing, I would say. It's a little colouring, colour by numbers exercise. It's... It's, a, it's, it's an easy picture, yeah. And it's the watercolour that's going to just go boom. Boom? Boom. Like, boom. boom in the room. <laughs> boom. <laughs> you promise? <laughs> so, I'm going in with my water, guys. This is me original. That's me. Pretty. Slim. Blonde. <gasps> oh, once upon a time. Ten years ago, that's all. Terrible. So, this is my, my pencil. Uh, water brush, even. And it, oh, it's just magic. Because I might even go back in with other shading afterwards. As I said before, I've got a kind of watercolour range and an ink range, and I'm not sure what I've used on which. So some's going to be stronger than others. But I kind of like, that's like art roulette, isn't it? <laughs> I like that. Art I roulette. Like art roulette. <laughs> But even my sky, look, oh, can you feel a bit of Cuba? See, how dark do I need to go with the watercolour pencil? I just put it on quite sketchy. Quite sort of firm with it or no, sketchy? No, mine's quite sketchy. Okay. Because, because you can go back in. Yes. It, I mean, look, even sketchy, can you see? Oh, yes. Yes. So if I can, yes, I'm with you. If I wanted to bold it up, I'd just go and colour over the top once it's dry. Georgia, I am feeling vaguely more human. I have got clothes on. You'll be glad to know. <laughs> We're all glad to know. <laughs> 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 I managed to oh, dog that was walk. Dirty. Yeah. I managed to dog walk, which was actually felt quite nice being out in the fresh air, to be fair. But I'm still sleeping loads, so I'm just going with what my body needs. Really knocked it out of you, didn't it? Yeah, it was a bad one. Bad one, but I haven't been ill for years, so I guess I was but A lot of people have I think there's I think there's um such a nasty cold, a lingering cold, and it's it's kind of tempting to sort of almost say it's flu, but you know, flu would you wouldn't get up from flu kind of thing. Um, but it's so bad, it's kind of 
at that point, isn't it? Yeah, I've been calling it flu. I, I agree. It's, it's not flu. It's just a really bad virus. It, yeah. Um, but it's, an, it's such a nasty one that you're sort of tempted to... Yeah. You know, it's bad when you start counting the days since you <laughs> last got dressed. Yeah. And then I got dressed. I tried to get dressed two days ago, and then I got a real major hot flush. It's where I've got temperature, and it was too much. I had to get undressed again. I'm sure that's not just your age? No. I'm very young. No, that's me. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Um, now I'm thinking. Oh, about... Can you see what can you see? It's lovely golden eyes going on. Oh, sirens! What's going on? <laughs> Another electrical box explosion. It all happens around you. <laughs> we get helicopters. No, well, I'm on the main road, so it's the main route through, isn't it? To yes. Yeah, we get a lot. Have we got people watching us? Like, has it all gone quiet? Yeah, we have. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I've just not, got comments because I can't see everything. Nice to see you feeling a bit better. Yeah, I'm feeling slightly better, lovely. Slightly. I thought I'd give it a go today. Actually now, the problem I've got with good old Minerva here is when I've looked her up and Googled her, what have you, she's obviously in black and white. Yeah. So do I stick with that? That's true. I mean, those pictures I posted, they were all black and white, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they were, weren't they? Yeah. And they look lovely. It was just that I decided, you know, I had, I had to go one further, didn't I? Always. But it was a celebration I... of my wedding. Well, it's got to be OTT then, hasn't it? Yeah. And it's not OTT. It's looking super. I'm just going back to... Um, I want to go back. I'm Googling now. I want to... Not Googling. I want to go back to the images that you had posted earlier because I just want to have a look at those eyelashes. There was a really creepy one that I nearly put on there of someone... It was obviously like a horror one, and it was just fingers inside the eye, scraping oh, the eye. Yes. I, yes, you sent that one to me, and it was like, okay. Bum, 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 bum. Really? Yeah, 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 it was like a spider. Come, oh, the fingers yeah. were like a spider. Um, so I'm going to have a look at the images you sent out. <laughs> so I can have a look at these eyelashes. Isn't 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 Facebooky, Googly stuff? It's great, isn't it? Well, yeah, I, we would have gone become much better artists much earlier on if you had points of reference. I think it's. I don't know. Gone. Well, yeah, me certainly because you know I'm 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 better when I can see something in front of me, um, but for those artists. You know, and, and like yourself, who can sort of imagine and dream up and put it straight onto canvas. I wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, well, I'm not even sure I can. I think. No, not without a reference in front of me. There's supposed to be some kind of test that you do. If you close your eyes, can you actually see? Can and it's like picture your car. Can you actually see it? Or can, are you just imagining in your head kind of what you know it looks like? But, or can you actually see it? I would I would only be imagining it. Um, and that's like some facial okay. awareness with me. I, I don't get that. That's a really genuine thing. Some people are born with and some people aren't. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't want to throw in the sexist card here, but it's mainly women that struggle with spatial awareness rather than men. But you know, yeah, we're rubbish at parking. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excellent at parking, at, by the way. But I'm, I, I'm rubbish at going from A to B. I 
don't really see what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm just going to turn this around. Oh, I'm so far, fun. my eyes making. What earth are you doing, Amanda? <laughs> I'm just, I've just realised I'm sort of, you know, playing here on my own. And nobody can <laughs> see what I'm doing. That's looking quite pretty now. Look, can you see? Quite pretty. Quite pretty. Quite pretty. If you missed the beginning, this is my wedding day 10 years ago. This is me getting married in Cuba on the beach in a heart of flowers. And I thought I'd do a kind of drawing of it inside my eye, seeing as my marriage kind of represents, definitely represents my life. It's given me my family, my home. He's been there for me through my whole journey. Or 50 years, no, but that's what he says. <laughs> he says it feels like 50 years. <laughs> Bastard. Poor <laughs> bugger. <laughs> I'll have him later. <laughs> my, sympath uh, my sympathies are with him. Uh. Yeah, thanks. Do you know what, though? You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm divorced. I've been divorced now, um, gosh, 12 years. Um, my wedding day, and, and, and you know, happily divorced. Um, my wedding day was the best day of my life. I loved it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm. Really did. I bet mine was better. Well, you were in Cuba, darling. <laughs> it's a lot to be said for that. <laughs> well, do you know, after we got married, there was a, there was a, um, another couple that got married um, after us. And no, before us and after us, there was a sort of few of us that were getting married on the same day, Valentine's Day, so I guess a lot of people had the same idea. And then um, after, immediately after getting married and doing the vows and everything, you, um, we went round to the main bit of the hotel and we had to get into a, a horse and cart, a horse, it was all done up with flowers and everything. Oh, um, so romantic. It was beautiful. And then we got um, like draw, horse drawn around the town. Um, and everyone was hooting and waving. It felt like you were the queen. Um, it was lovely. But what happened was the couple before us had had this terrible accident um, where they she'd got into the um, into the horse and cart, and her dress had a massive long veil on it, and the dress had got caught in <gasps> in the wheel of the horse and cart, and the the horse just started moving and oh, no. yeah and dragged her off the car she broke her leg no she broke her leg on her wedding day 10 minutes after she was married oh <coughs> and we all had this complimentary meal um, the insurance paid up well in the same restaurant we all had this sort of meal and the, and she was in there in a wheelchair having a full on domestic with her husband <laughs> <laughs> the whole wedding day had gone terribly wrong. I felt very sorry. It was like bad because we were like obviously wanting to celebrate, but I did feel oh, yeah. knowing that she'd had this awful. Do you reckon we're still together? I don't know. But I don't How think we could even like... get back into it because, like, we had a a wedding suite, you know. um chalet or whatever but i don't think she could get into hers she had to be moved oh because of the wheelchair yeah how awful it was all wrong i mean the only bad thing that happened to me and i thought it was quite funny actually was when we were having wedding photographs taken it was um <laughs> it had been very wet the night before and um so the ground was quite muddy so we were having these gorgeous pictures taken, you know, him, me, all looking romantic under trees and, you know, foliage. And it's all very romantic. Uh, but it was very muddy underfoot. So when I was sort of, you know, um, posing, I would have to pose on a plastic bag so that my <laughs> shoes didn't get too dirty and what have you. And if I was sitting on this log that just happened to have fallen down 10 years ago and was all mossy and beautiful then I would sit on a plastic bag and it was all disguised anyway this dog 
because it was in a path, this dog came bounding up to me <laughs> through the mud. <laughs> yeah, I got muddy paws on my dress, <laughs> on my beautiful satin shoes. Uh... Um, the dog walker, the woman was, you know, absolutely mortified. But what can you do? I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and <laughs> the, the awful part was we'd had these photographs taken before we actually got married. We'd had them done before the ceremony because <laughs> we were having the photographs taken somewhere else. We got married in a marina. So there wasn't much sort of, you know, foliage and what have you. It was lovely boats. So we had some of those done. But um, there wasn't much sort of, you know, lovely greenery and foliage to, to sit by. So we'd had them done in the park before the wedding and the guests and what have you. So, yeah, I did have to go through the ceremony with um, some dog, dog prints on my dress and on my satin shoes. Fantastic. <laughs> but I didn't mind. It was a lovely day. Absolutely lovely day. for time i had no idea been chatting away reading stories how are we doing for time children <laughs> see i've just gone back in with some more pencil now i don't know if you can see now where we're at getting oh that's looking lush getting there isn't it yes can somebody oh water on mine. Somebody post the time. How long have we got? Love these. I am going to go in with some blue, I think. It's, I'm going in with that kind of childhood blue sky. Ooh, we have blue sky. The sunshine. I think what I need to do is get some water on here, maybe. And then see where I'm at. Yeah, I don't think you have to aim to do it all in one go. You kind of like the No, I need to I need to keep building this up and I need to be thinking about Minerva. I'm gonna Minerva's gonna be on my brain tonight. <laughs> I also don't want the um the whites of the eye to be so white so I need to look at that and I haven't really got anything that's tempting me colour wise she needs a background then doesn't she without the without without her looking jaundice if you know what I mean well I've still done a colour eye so I've done a pupil Yes, yes, I've gone I've gone in very, very lightly with the the, the pupils Some there, the five there. I just don't want the white to be so white. So I've got I've, I've given it a little bit of something. I don't know what it's called. Um yellow ochre. I've given her a little bit of yellow ochre. Yeah. Because I just don't want it to look white, white, and I don't want it to look jaundice. So I'm gonna be um where is everybody else at? Have we have we got We're quarter to eight? So we're nearly there. Um, what I would I know um, in in past weeks we've sort of had you working alongside us, and I didn't give you guys any warning for this at all. Um, no, because I, I didn't know if I'd be able to do it or not. But I'd really love it if you had a little sort of just a few ideas on it and had a go. It would just you know, you can play this on replay and see what I've done. I've used watercolour um, pencils um, and some of them are ink. My Russian roulette pencils, because some of them are ink um, based and some of them are water based. So some of them are more vibrant than others, but that's OK. But you could do it with normal colouring pencils. You could do it with paint. It doesn't have to be. You could do it black and white with pencil. So you don't have to go out and buy loads of materials. It's just, I really liked the idea of a story behind the eyes, because I think our, our eyes tell a thousand, if you look at someone close enough, in their eyes. Well, it's the wind of the soul, isn't it? So they say. Yeah. Yeah. And this was 
what I wanted to mark as my important story. I'd kind of, I'm, I'm sort of getting the, 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 the feeds coming up quite quickly now, um, but I'm not up to date with the feeds. Um, although Jeanette says it's 7.45. Kay Gould is watching, Sharon Porsche Turner is watching. Oh, Sharon, sorry, big pardon, Sharon. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Um, I'd like to know where everybody else is if they are having a go. Because if they're having a go, would they like to continue with this tomorrow? Or are they quite content just to see where you're at? Well, because I've pretty much, I'm a, I haven't got much playing left to do. I'll play a bit more. But... No, I mean, I've, I've got loads, so I can just... So we could pop on tomorrow if people want us to, and it would be more Amanda doing her stuff, me talking, because I've nearly... Well, I, I do want to do a bit more of mine. Anyway, just let us know in the comments. Let if us not, know. If not, we'll just post the finish. If you want us, we'll be back tomorrow finishing off. We're not going to start anything new. Um, if you want us finishing off, I've got quite a lot to do, but I need to get water on there now, and I'm not prepared for that at the moment. Yeah, look. I've done my drawings. <coughs> oh, you know, I'm loving that. Isn't that a nice wedding present? That's, oh. That would be, wouldn't it? Dave! You what? must love this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful subject. It's beautifully executed. Yeah. Thank you. It so, is. To summarise, guys, all I've done is use a very basic eye shape. I put my pupil in and I found myself a photograph from my lovely wedding days. And um, I'll see if I can find you another nice one. To... Oh, there's the famous, the infamous horse and cart. <laughs> <laughs> she did the man the tree thing as well, look. Look at you, skinny mini. I know. Oh, oh, look, this is happiness, isn't it? Look at that. Aww. Oh. That doesn't look like you. I know, but it does. That's... Oh, and then just stand by the beach. Look at this. I mean, I thoroughly oh. recommend getting married abroad. It was just amazing. And it was... Well, if I ever do it again, which is doubtful. Look, <laughs> look at that. Gosh, oh, you look like Georgia. Oh, my God. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. I want to try the eye drawing later because you've got appointments soon that's absolutely fine but we'd love to see how you get yeah we'll see you again get on. Into the problem. <laughs> right yeah. i think we need to leave it there um we can pop on tomorrow um i'll get some water on this and try and make minerva look like the grand lady she's supposed to be <laughs> and not some cartoon character <laughs> i think you're gonna have to put her name in the um comments underneath so we can google her and check out all yeah, right, well, it looks like we're back on tomorrow for a little bit at least. We'll see you at I seven. See you at seven. Get your Thanks eye. So get, much get your story us. going. That's gorgeous. I want. Yeah. I want. A, I want a picture of that on the post. Yeah. Okay. There's a bit more to do. I want to do a bit more on the eyelid and the eyelashes, so there'll be a little more detail going on. But we've got sort of the main colour. I think yeah. it looks lovely. I really do. <laughs> My double. Yeah. If you saw pictures of me as a little girl, because I was really blonde as a little girl, my hair's got darker and darker as I've got older, but yeah, it's, Georgia had to, to look twice. That is looking at me. That picture that, me. That's the picture you showed, yeah. that was Georgia in a <laughs> wedding. Bless her up. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, thank you ever so much for joining us. Share the love, guys. If you can share yeah, this share, share. To, to one group that you're in, isn't us it isn't my group because obviously it will be in there anyway but if you can share it um and then hopefully more people will join us and we can get more of a community going on here and we can see each other's work and that's what we I want just, we, love I you all. Just love we want that. your friends as well because i somebody commented um debbie grace commented earlier in the post how much i love all art and she's not wrong i i love all art. i love to see what you're doing i love that yes. we can express ourselves in our art. You don't have to actually like the picture that I create, 
just like the fact that I love it, that I love doing it, that it makes me happy. Exactly. I want to do that with all of you guys too. So we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye for now.